Okay, we're going to adjust this choke system, which you may call it a choke system because it has a choke symbol on it. It's actually more of a starter enrichener system where it introduces more gasoline into the carburetors through a couple of plungers. But this has to be adjusted so that both carburetors have the same amount of lift on each plunger. So we're going to go over the steps to do that. This is on a 1988 Polaris Indy Trail with a 488 motor. And let's take a look at the plunger adjustments on the carburetors. Okay, these are the plunger assemblies on each side, each carburetor. It's a rubber boot to lift up on this one anyway. The other one looks like it's missing, but the cables go inside these. There's a jam nut to loosen to make the adjustment and then tighten back up again to keep it from going out of adjustment. So let's loosen up these jam nuts and have them ready for adjusting for the free play at the choke lever, the lever itself, between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. Okay, well, since we left off, I ended up removing the air box because the jam nut on this far carburetor was rusted. So I put some PB blaster on it and now it's spinning freely again. So now we're ready to do the adjustments. And it's okay, I took the air box off. I'm gonna synchronize the carburetors, so look for that video as well. And also I'll be taking these caps off, making sure both of the E-clips on the needles are set the same. And also I'm going to set them, instead of uh, setting number two, to setting number three, which is recommended for the new ethanol fuel that's in the gas now. So. We'll do that in some later videos, but let's get back to adjusting these plungers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to back these barrels out until there is no play at the lever, until the, the lever is seated right up against its mount. Okay, So I'm going to keep turning these one at a time until it does that, and then back it off until I've got an eighth of an inch of play at the lever. So I'll be turning these adjustment barrels which you won't see on the video, but let's take a look at the lever. Okay, so here we are at the lever, and if you can see that, we've got about an eighth of an inch of play right there, right now. So, I'm gonna start adjusting that first barrel, turning it, and as you can see, it is now pulling the lever in and there it is, it's, there's no play in it right now. So back it off a little, and here it comes, okay. Let's bring it back in until it flattens out again. And there it is, there's no play right there. So I'm gonna pull against the lever, and I'm threading the barrel downwards now as I'm pulling out to try to get that eighth of an inch of play. Let's try that, and that's with it set to the first carburetor on the right hand side, the first one we started with. Now it's time to adjust the second carburetor, and what I'm going to do is, is hold this lever out, and yes, this is a bent nail used, uh, I lost a pin, so I improvised a little bit with this bent nail, but it's good enough for now. And so, now we want to adjust the second carburetor by turning up on the barrel adjuster until it starts to pull that lever in. There it goes, it's pulling the lever in. So I'm gonna back it back off, go back out. Okay, there's the set with the first carburetor. Turn it back out again, and it's pulling it right in immediately. So I've turned it back in about a half a turn and it's back to where it was at one eighth of an inch of play. Okay, so now we just have to tighten down the jam nuts and both carburetors have the same enrichment going through uh, to each one. So we lift them up, lift them up full, and back down again. Everything seems to be fine there. She should be good to go for cold starting. And these specs are in the shop manual for this 1988 Polaris Indy Trail 488. I highly recommend you find, buy, download the shop manual that goes to your machine because they are very helpful.
Now, I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but there is some shiny new thread showing here, so it's come up a little bit. And same thing on our second carburetor over here. We've got some new thread showing. So each side had to come up a bit to put them within specification according to the uh, shop manual that I highly recommend to download for your year and type of machine because that's where I got all these specs from. Lastly is to tighten up these jam nuts, bring them all the way down, snug them up tight, and uh, also make sure the choke lever, the starter enrichener system, make sure it goes to halfway and then full, which it does. So this looks like we're now within specs.